Well, Dave, you've aligned yourself with a new customer service startup called Grapevine, designed to help consumers resolve complaints with companies. How did you get involved with that? Uh, I've always had a, a passion for customer service, and it started as a musician, and we call our customers fans in the music business, but I've always respected the fact that people have chose to come see my shows and, and buy our products, and I always care that they, they like the product that they have. So uh, that's what I've done in my business, and I've always found it surprising when I've had bad customer service from other companies. When United Breaks Guitars went viral, uh, I received 10,000 email from people, and a lot of them were just basically saying congratulations. Uh, but a lot of them, though, also said uh, congratulations. Now, here's something that I had happened to me. So I, it occurred to me that you know I'm not alone in this and that uh, millions of people in the world have had bad customer service experiences and would like not to have them again. And so I started a website uh, about uh, two years ago called rightsideofright.com. And uh, it was more of just an intention to, to uh, answer and collect, uh, create a community, I guess, for bad customer service stories without really understanding or what, what I would do with them. And uh, the website was uh, well intended, but it, what didn't succeed in doing what I wanted it to do. And uh, I was finally uh, approached by Richard Hugh out of Toronto and a web designer named Chris Capel, who sort of suggested that they had, uh, they had this web-based uh, program called Grapevine that they wanted to to uh, include me in and bring me in as a full partner, as a founding member. So the three of us uh, formed a, uh, a company called Grapevine, and uh, it is kind of one of the first uh, internet programs, uh, platforms that bring customers and companies together. And the whole goal of Grapevine is to uh, create an even playing field and to resolve conflicts. So it's not a site where people are invited to just come uh, bash brands and it's a it's a place where companies can come and effectively manage their reputation and uh, together I think that will shave off minutes and minutes uh, of people's lives from going into customer service mazes and create profit for the 83 billion dollars a year that's uh, wasted on customer service for companies how does Greg Vine work uh, people there's like I say it's there's two sides of the equation so on the consumer side uh, if I have a problem with customer X. I can go to Grapevine, it takes a couple of minutes to open up an account, and I can then uh, take as long as I want. There's no restrictions on bandwidth or anything along those lines, and I can take as long as I want, with, as long as uh, I don't use profanity, and explain what my gripe is. And uh, and it encourages uh, creativity as well. You can use videos if you'd like. And you hit plant your gripe, and then the powerful back-end social media tools that like Chris Capel uh, designed for the platform kick in and it takes your gripe and it sends it to the right people, the decision makers at Company X so that they're able to manage uh, and see that there's a gripe and, and engage with that person either online or offline if both sides prefer to take it offline and ideally solve a problem before it becomes really anything out of hand. And uh, uh, At the end of the equation, the, the customer gets to rate the company based on their customer service they experienced in something we call a consumer or a customer satisfaction index. And every company in the world will have a grapevine page that they're invited to claim. And whether they do or they don't, that there will be a grade up in the top right hand corner that will allow consumers to say what they feel uh, about the company's customer service. They'll be asked three questions. Uh, were you happy with the level of customer service you received here? Uh, would you recommend it to your friends and would you shop with them again? And that's uh, really information uh, information that companies will embrace and can use. Well, that's just coming out of beta now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, we've worked out most of the bugs, we think, and uh, if not all. And Grapevine is going to be evolving as time goes on. And, and uh, when we understand when a need comes up, we'll we'll be able to fill it and we'll evolve along with the technology. But it's it's uh, pretty advanced and it's doing uh, uh, everything we want it to do. It would seem like companies would embrace it because it would be an opportunity to deal with situations before they go viral uh, in a negative way. Um, are you aware of company response so far and how, uh, how this has been received at that, at that end? Companies that, that have been looking at it are really positive about it. We're expecting uh, some of the airlines to start uh, getting involved. As, as you mentioned, we're just coming out of beta, so these are really early days for Grapevine. But uh, you're right, the social media is where things are heading and 
you know, people are studying this stuff all the time and are finding out that customers really like to use social media because they get a high level of happiness in terms of results and it's a, it's a low on the level of difficulty on how to get things done. And, co and companies everywhere are realizing too that uh, if, if you want to be relevant, you have to be where your customer, customers are and speak in their language. So that means uh, companies are going to be embracing social media a lot more and this gives uh, them a fighting chance at managing their reputation in a, in a really new world for, for everybody. So maybe some of those 10,000 people who emailed you after United Breaks Guitars will find their way to Grapevine and have an opportunity to express themselves and maybe communicate with the companies they're concerned about. I think so too. And uh, I, I travel the world now speaking to big companies and, and, uh, and uh, interested groups in, from tourism to healthcare. And I talk about it all the time because it's something, just like United Breaks Guitars was relevant to everybody, offering a solution on how to uh, air your gripes and, and not get caught in customer service mazes is also good and relevant information. And uh, it's obviously good for companies if, if they can save money and have an easy tool to uh, embrace in social media.